everyone. It is, hmm, what day of the week is it? Tuesday, um, July 23rd. Welcome to planner check-in number 14. Okay, so you probably see a few more new things because you know, I just can't stay settled right now. <laughs> and you know what? That's okay. Sometimes that is the way that it is for some of us and I literally am just gonna go with the flow because this is my hobby and I can change planners and do whatever I want, right? We all can do that. So this is brand new. I made this cover um, with faux croc leather that I got at Walmart of all places. And this is my commonplace book. Um, I decorated the inside page of this with a bunch of happy mail um, from a friend on Instagram. Her handle is Poppy Plans. She got this in um, in Hawaii and I really wanted to put that on there. It's a bamboo sticker. So cool. Anyways, let's not get off track. Um, so this is an A5 hardbound print impression. And in the front um, where it says personal, I can't really show you any of that because that is the section where I have all of my passwords. Um, and then I have this section for projects. And what I did was I wrote down um, all of the um, all of the measurements and stuff for this planner. And it turned out so, so good. I really love it. But anyways, it's an A5 print pression hardbound. Um, Kane sent this to me and I absolutely love it. You can see the holographic on the edges. I really love it. But in the back, what I have done is um, I fell under the pressure of everyone getting the Crayola Super Tips. So I have the regular package and I have the pastels. I couldn't tell you how they're listed in here and I'm missing one. How I'm missing one already, I don't know. But some little hands may have walked off with it, but whatever, I don't, I really don't care. Um, so I swatched all of my Crayola Super Tips. And what I did was I used my label maker and I'm gonna have to move them up to the caps. Um, but all I did was just, I labeled them with my label maker and then I swatched them in here, which I'm really glad that I did because like I would never have thought that this was like a bluish gray. And that's a pretty dark orange, although that, that kind of looks the same. But I think it's number four that like really threw me for a loop. Let me see if I can find number four in here. Yeah, see how pink that is? Look, that doesn't even match that. Anyway, so I've swatched my Crayola Super Tips in here. And by the way, I do love those markers. Um, I did my Zig Dot markers, my Tombow markers. And that's it, um, but I'm going to, this is gonna be my um, book that my husband will grab if I die tomorrow. Um, that's what it will be for me. Commonplace books may not be the same for everyone, but that's what it's gonna be for me. And there's gonna be other information in here, um, but I know, morbid, right? But that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and this, um, week size Moleskine notebook is what all of my addresses and my birthdays are in for all of my Instagram friends. Excuse me, I need a sip. Um, so this is new and I absolutely love it. So there's that. This little baby is new. Fell under a lot of peer pressure um, the last couple of weeks. And you'll see, yes, I got the pocket day designer. It is the cutest little planner. And um, my friend Carol from Mom Plans on Instagram, she, here's the reason why I got this. I got it, first of all, because it's adorable and I just wanted it and it's a $6 planner. So I said, I'm just gonna get it. Um, but the other reason why I got it, hold on, I have a baby that's wrecking a book. Babies, that's for the big kids. Um, so what she said, she has a master calendar. 
Love that idea because I planner hop so much. I don't wanna um, think that I've missed putting something in a planner. So that's what this is gonna be for. Um, I decorated the pages and I absolutely love all the fun little deco in that I put in here. It's my Luna and my daycare kids. And then just some other, you know, fun stickers and such. So I started this off um, last week and what I did was I put in my July schedule. I put in my August, a little bit of September, a little bit of October, um, some November. But as we keep going forward, I'm, this is going to be my master calendar. This will never leave my desk. This will literally just sit on my desk and when something comes up, it goes into this planner. And then when I lay out my, um, my month in my planner of the day, <laughs> planner of the week, planner of the month, um, I'll transfer this information over into my other planners. So I think the system is going to work really good for me. Um, this cover is from DM Leather Studio, and I got it personalized. And I think that on Amazon, I think that this cover cost me like $25 with the personalization and the pen loop. Super inexpensive. Um, on my Instagram, I do have a Amazon storefront. So I believe I put it on there. You can check it out um, on my Amazon storefront. If not, um, you can ask me and I'll send you the link for that. I am still using my mom's um, memory planner. I did not do a very good job of filling this out last week, have not added any photos into it. I've discovered I don't like this layout. Um, I'm gonna go back to this layout so I have a whole page to put photos in. Um, but I need. I think what I'll do is I'll add some photos in here because Luna and I went away this last weekend. Um, we went up to Lincoln, New Hampshire, up in the White Mountains um, with my nephew and his wife and family. Um, they had a wedding to go to, and so I went with them, and I stayed at the resort um, so their kids could be close because they're about three and a half to four hours away from Lincoln, New Hampshire. So they really didn't want to leave their kids with someone at home and be three and a half or four hours away. Um, so Luna and I went up for the weekend, and um, so I'll put some photos in here for my mom of things we did for the weekend. And then I haven't drawn this week out yet, so I need to get that done today. Um, but I am still using this and loving it. Um, I do still have this that I'm using for Luna. And yes, I'm still loving this also. So this was last week. Um, is that last week? No, this was last week. Um, I have a little bit of catching up to do on these two days. I honestly don't even remember what I did, but um, I have a passport that I've been using and I may have done dailies in there. So even if I don't um, have anything I can put in here, what I'm going to do is I'll just go into my phone and look up July 18th and July 19th. Hi, Bubby. Are you talking to Roro? Hi, Bubby. Um, and what I'll do is I will just put photos in there. And then um, this page is the two blank pages in between the weekly pages. Um, if you haven't ever watched any of my videos before, this is an Aura Style Annie Plans undated complete weekly vertical. It's a B6. Love this. Love it so much that I went onto the website and I bought two more because they're only like $15. It's an oops planner. Um, something about these columns aren't big enough or... The Sunday column isn't, I don't know. I, I couldn't even, buddy, that's the trash. You don't want to eat trash. No, thank you. Not for babies. Um, get my trash can out of the way. Um, so I ordered two more. Um, I think that I'm going to use another one of these next year for Luna because I haven't even thought about jumping out of this because um, I really do just love the way this looks. This is next week, or this is this week in Luna's planner. I used a plan with pizzazz kit that was printed on just regular white paper. Um, and I have not decorated the in-between pages yet. So I'll get on that. Are you going to be a wrecking ball, baby? Is that what you're going to do, huh, Ren? So Ren is a 
almost 11 months old and he's decided he's gonna tear apart my desk. Is that what you've decided? Yeah. Um, for those that don't know, I run a home daycare and all the other littles are napping right now. My son and daughter-in-law and granddaughter are out having lunch and then they went to um, a local greenhouse that we love to go to, it's right in our town. Um, it's called Wentworth Greenhouse, but our granddaughter calls it the Wonderful Plant Store. <laughs> um, and everybody knows her there by name and everything, it's really nice. So I am using a Hobonichi Weeks. Um, my friend Taylor from Taylor, no, my friend Stacy um, from, she just changed her name. What is her username now? Mims Can Plan. Um, her grandchildren call her Mims. So um, she sent this to me because I wanted to experiment with a, um, with the weeks again, I really missed the paper and I miss the layout and all that. So um, this is my July calendar that I set up. My August, I haven't really done much in here except for um, a few weeks. So this was the first week I started it. No, I back planned this. This was the first week I started it with. This is last week. This kit is from Hobbs Sticker Co. If you don't follow her here or on Instagram, you really should. She's a very small sticker shop um, and she's trying to grow her community. Um, her sticker paper is absolutely amazing. I love it. And this is one of her junior kits and it fits fantastic into a week's. And everything's a la carte or you can buy um, all of, you can buy the whole kit. But look at how good those fit right into the grid of the Hobo Weeks. And I used it for, um, I used it for, sorry, I'm trying to pay attention to the baby <laughs> and talk at the same time. Obviously, I can't do two things at once. Um, I did it for Habit Tracker. Um, but I love the way that looks. And these stickers are also from her, um, from her shop. This is the regular size. Um, and so I put those in here and I think it looks gorgeous. And then I used her lemon kit for um, the last week of July, the first week of August. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And all I do with this is I just use it for, I write down um, how many followers I have on Instagram. I write down how many likes I got on a post um, and things like that. It's just interesting to me. Do I want to grow my community? Absolutely I do. Are the numbers wicked important? I don't think that they are. Um, that's not why I write them down every single day. What I want to do is I write them down every day so I can see that what I post if I lose a follower or something. Um, it just It's just interesting to me. That's all. So I have this. And then this baby that probably looks familiar to a lot of you planner girls and guys um this is an aura Stell passport this is the version two i was gifted this from tiki from aura Stell. um yes i'm very fortunate to be gifted some things um but i do a lot of storying and i do a lot of posting on instagram um, so I am gifted things so that I can story about them. Hey buddy, what are you doing now? Did you find a bag? Um, so I'm using it as a wallet, obviously. I did just buy this wallet off of my friend Taylor, um, from Tailored Plan on here and on Instagram. So I will move my cards from here over to here, um, and my cash and things like that. But this, all of the notebooks in here are all Aura Estelle Annie plans. So this one is just a grid notebook. And what I did was I wrote out my um, August calendar. And then I left two blank pages in between. And then a September calendar. I just drew it out and I used the stickers that come with their notebooks. So all of their notebooks, let me see where, what I did with those. Oh, they're in here. I took out my sticker book. Um, all of their, all of their little notebooks come with stickers. 
to label all of their little planners, all of their little notebooks. So I used the Monday, the, the Sunday through Saturday, and then I used all of the numbers. And then this August sticker is also from there. The 2024 is from Mandy Lynn Plans. Um, and I added these tabs. All these are is just some little stickers that I got from um, an Instagram friend. Um, and I just made tabs with them and I think it looks super cute. So this is just so I have an on the go calendar. Um, so I have that. And then I have just some photos of my family in here. Like I said, this is a new wallet that I got from my friend Taylor. This is the other side to the picture thingy here that I have. I have a list post-it note in here um, and just some, <laughs> just some die cuts in there. In here, I have this stencil and it is absolutely perfect. Um, it's a great size for my passport and my weeks. I've not used it in any other planner. I'm sure it'd be a great size for any planner. Um, but this was made by Watch Becca Plan and her husband. Um, she is going to be having these for sale at some point soon. I don't know when. Um, but go and give her a follow over on Instagram and over on um it here on YouTube, and when she launches them, she will will say on on their um, you know when they're when they're for sale and how much they are and all that. This is a cute little die cut from Sweet Freckle Designs, and my granddaughter calls me Roro, and so I have Roro on there. And what's funny about this is this little character is actually named Lola. Um, Lola is Filipino for grandma. And that's what I wanted Luna to call me. But she couldn't say Lola. She called me Roro. So I became Roro and now I absolutely love it. So this is my um, July and August notebook. It's just another Oristel plain grid notebook. And what I did was I just decorated it um, with some London Gifties pet tape and I added my schedule in here, and then I did some dailies. And really, that is it. That's all that I did in here, and I love that. This is a dashboard that I made with an LA Florals freebie sticker sheet. If you use my code Roro and Lou on LA Florals, you'll get my freebie sheet. Um, I do have a new one. This is not the one that you'll get. Um, I do have a new one. Um, but I just laminated it and put a tab up there and I love it. So I wanted that in here. This is also from Sweet Freckle Designs. This is the other side of that Moterm wallet. That is, where is the other side? Oh, it's right here. Silly me. Um, this has my change in it, which I will move over to here. This is just a um, Traveler's Company craft um, envelope that I stamped and decorated. It has lots of receipts in it and it has, whoops, these stickers and it has um, some stamp stickers that I'm using to make tabs also. I don't only use things that are meant to be tabs, I use all kinds of stickers and stuff. Um, this is a Twisby air press pen, no, Tombow air press pen. Um, supposedly you can write in the rain with it. You can write upside down with it, all kinds of things. Um, I just got it cause it's small and I like it. It looks cool. That is also in my Amazon storefront if you want to check that out. And this is from Sweet Freckle Designs and this is just a list notebook. So if there's things that I need or, um, I want, I'm just making lists of them in here. So, and then my Lola charm, same character from Sweet Freckle Designs, my superior labor clip that I love on here. And then I have no clue where this clip came from and my Traveler's Company bullet pencil. So that's my wallet and I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. Will I change out of it? Probably, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know, but I like it for now. This right here is a cover I made. Um, it's an old coach bag. 
this was on the front um, and it's a little bit wonky because I'm just learning how to stitch real leather um, it's a it's a lot different than stitching the faux leather um, it's a lot tougher to get through so the lines aren't necessarily very straight um, when I went back over this I missed it a little bit up here I need to take those stitches out but all mistakes aside I love it you know you only get better when you make mistakes right um, and how do you know if you don't make a mistake? You, you just have to try things and learn. But I took the registration number. The um, Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're so good with sharing, Ren. Thank you. Um, I took the registration number from inside the bag and I cut it out and I just put it on here because I think it looks cool. I wanted a bigger pocket in the front to be able to put things like these papers that um, I will end up using as dashboards or dividers. And I wanted a smaller pocket in the back. So um, I'm using this as a journal. And I think, yeah, I can show you. Um, so actually, let's go start from the beginning. So this is a paper test designs. It's an A5 undated. Um, the Yearly Notebook Undated Edition by Paper Test Designs. So all the deco you're going to see in this um, is from Hobbs Sticker Co. So I decorated my front page like this. And then there's an index inside. And I just wrote in here so far that 495 starts the notes section. So you have two pages for your index. And then you have two blank pages. And then it goes into these sort of tracker kind of areas. Um, I think what I'm gonna do for this is starting in August, I'm gonna use it as a mood tracker. What I'll use it for going forward, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try that out. Um, if anyone has any Instagram channels, or I, I mean, any, yeah, any Instagram channels or any YouTube channels that they watch, um, it, that they and they use paper test designs the a5 I'd love for you to tag them below because I would really like to see how other people set this planner up um, so you have 12 of those obviously and then you have um, these so these are calendars and there's 12 of these with this blank section over here um, my friend Lisa from Hob Sticker Co used it for forward planning and I think that's a great idea I'm not touching mine yet because I don't know what I'm going to use it for so obviously you have 12 of those also. And then you have two blank pages and then starts your monthly calendars. Here's how I decorated for August. I did start journaling in this already, um, but I wanted to set up just the August calendar because um, we're already three quarters of the way through July, so I wasn't gonna do a July calendar. Um, so you have all your calendars and then you have, so all the calendars are in the front here. And then you have um, two blank pages. And then this is the way it is set up. So you have, it's really faint and I like that. So it's all undated. I put the dates on there. Um, so it, it is Monday through Sunday. And then you have seven blank pages. And like I said, all of this deco is from Lisa at Hop Sticker Co. So all I've done so far is set up two weeks. Um, all I did was set up um, in in the it, for next week, all I did was set up the week and then write the days on here, and this is how I'm going to be using it. I really want to start being better at journaling. Um, we've got some big family stuff that's going on. Um, I just need to get all of that out in a way that um, isn't burdening anyone else, um, and so that is my goal with this. And I want to work really, really hard at sticking to this because I have tried um, lots of other journals and I just haven't stuck with it. No, no, not for you, please. Thank you, Ren. Um, so I have this entry and I haven't looked at my, I haven't looked at today's entry. Um, so I don't want to share that, but that is what I'm doing with this. And I'm absolutely, I, this planner, the quality of this notebook 
is um, it is really, really nice. So now I get the hype. Um, I know a lot of people who have been using these and I just haven't even looked into them. Um, so I get the hype now. I get it. I get it. Um, I think I'm not going to use this as a book tracker, but I might use it as a page marker. I might laminate it and do something with it. I'm not sure. Um, but I just got this in some happy mail from a friend on Instagram. But anyways, that's what I'm currently using. Um, I am still using my A5 DM Leather Studios where I am um, using that for party planning and such. Um, and I am still in my anecdote, uh, my eight and a half by 11 that I'm going to use for school, but I don't need to show you those two because I'm, I don't touch them every day. Um, but all of this stuff I do touch every day. So happer, happy planner hopping to all of you. Um, I hope that you're all enjoying yourselves. Um, and if you have any questions at all, um, just drop a question down below and I will answer it for you. And also in the description, I will leave you my, um, a link to my link tree so you can see all of my discounts. Thank you and have an awesome, awesome week.